What should you do when you are married to someone who is afraid of commitment but you have already fallen in love with him? You and Jungkook were arranged by both of your parents to get married but neither of your parents forced you to. They gave you a time to get to know each other, spend time together, and you started dating in four months. Everything is doing well and you became really close. In that short period of time, you gradually fell in love with him, and soon, you both got married. It's your nature to be sweet and gentle. Meanwhile, Jungkook has mood swing, so there are times he acts coldly towards you. Doctor is your profession, so you can say that your schedule is always hectic, but you make sure you have time with your husband. Jungkook as well. He always spend time with you. He often pick you up from the hospital to hanging around. But one thing you notice even once, you didn't hear him saying that he loves you. Still, you thought your relationship was okay. Until one day, he suddenly became mute. He doesn't talk to you. You know something is wrong so you talk to him immediately to fix it if there is a problem. The first thing you ask is, Cool, is there a problem? He just look at you and sigh. Later on, he bent down and said something that surprised you. YN, please don't fall in love with me. You tilted your head confused by what he said. You didn't know what he wanted to convey, so you told him that you couldn't get it. And then he said that he was afraid of having a commitment to someone. Your mind is messed up because honestly, you can't understand him. If he is scared of having a commitment, then why did he agree to marry you? When you ask him that, he couldn't answer. You get offended of course. You have many plans for your marriage but what happened is that he has no plans to make a commitment to you. Then what is the point of getting married? Since you are a doctor, you have many colleagues who are experts in Jungkook's case and they will advise you to understand him. Give them some space, be patient, be honest and show him that he can trust you. Try to understand him. Don't rush him to have a commitment. You want to fix your relationship because you really love him. You're not ready to lose him so you follow all the doctor's advices. However, you get tired of understanding him. You feel like you're so stupid. You're the only one making an effort and hold on to him. And because of that, you gradually lost interest in fixing your relationship because you feel like you're just wasting time. What you did was keep yourself busy with your work. You're just waiting for Jungkook to say that he wants a divorce. But until now, he don't ask you that makes you angry. You felt frustrated and confused on what his real plans for you and your marriage. You are even more God confused because since you stopped giving him any importance, he became even more caring and sweet to you. You don't really understand him. Why he's doing that to you if he's not ready to have a commitment with you. Eventually, 
I did get better and return to work, Doc, after I take the medicine that you subscribe, your patient said. Well, that's great. If you feel anything strange, just call me or go back here. Your patient nodded and walked going to the door. Until he met your friend, Doc Maxine, with a bouquet of flowers. Doc, why in flowers for you? You just laughed because you didn't believe that the flowers were for you. However, Maxine insisted on giving them and told you to read what was written in the card. Dear YN, You have all the rights to not talk to me if you don't feel like it. You have all the rights to scold me if you think I am not right. You have all the rights to make me understand things that I don't understand. But, please, do not ignore me. I know I have been acting crazy to you lately. I cannot bear to be out of sorts with you. I want to tell you that I have learned from it. My mind cannot be at peace if we don't interact the way we usually do. It makes me sad and really disappointed. I don't feel like eating or doing anything as all I want is to make you happy. I know I cannot change the past, but believe me, I tried so hard. But this lesson has brought a significant change in me. Please accept my apology. Her husband, Jungkook. You almost carried away on his message, but every time you remember what he said that he was afraid to make a commitment, you suddenly thought that maybe he was just playing with you. What's wrong? You should be happy because you received flowers from your husband. I don't know. I feel like he was just playing with me. No, that's not true. How did you say that? Jungkook told me not to tell you about this, but I think you need to know. Two weeks ago, Jungkook came to me. He's asking my help with his problem. Why and basically your husband loves you, but because he was afraid of commitment, even he already realized that he already fell for you, he's still is stopping himself. Jungkook's case is not worse. He'll be okay soon. Remember, I'm a good psychiatrist. Then, why he was afraid of commitment? He was afraid of breakup, divorce, or abandonment because of his dark past. So, it's hard for him to commit to someone else. But he said, everything changed when he met you. He wants to treasure you, but there are times he was defeated of his fear. And maybe that is the reason why he told you that. Why and your husband know that he hurt you. So he asked my help because he wants to live with you forever. Is what I did consider as abandonment? It's normal for you to be angry because you don't know his real case. And for some reason, it's also helped a lot since he realized that he really loves you. Your husband needs you especially now. Don't leave him. Don't worry. Little by little, everything will be okay. I promise you that.
When Junko came home from work, he was surprised to see her in the kitchen preparing the table. It's been three weeks that you always come home late, and sometimes you slip into hospital to avoid him. That's why he was surprised to see you come home early. Since you were busy, you didn't notice him right away. And when you saw him, he just standing near the door, staring at you. Hi, you greeted him. How are you? He said, but you noticed that there were tears in his eyes. Honestly, you really felt guilty on your actions. Because you know, you really hurt Jungkook for leaving him. I'm okay, but I miss someone. However, he doesn't want me to be a part of his life. Tell me, what do you think I will do now? Can you please give him a chance and forgive him for what he said? That stupid guy didn't know what he was doing. But now... He was definitely sure that he didn't want to lose you. Really? Why? Because he decided to fight his fear just to be with you. Because he wants you to be a part of his life. Because that stupid guy loves you. At that point, he couldn't help himself. His tears began to fall. Can I hug you? He said. This time, I want to be the one who comes to you. As you run and hug him. I'm sorry if I abandoned you when you needed me. I give up easily. I should have understand you. Shh. I understand why you did that. Even I, I was angry with myself. Why I was able to hurt the girl that I love. I'm sorry. You and your colleagues were having lunch at the hospital cafeteria when suddenly they stood up and moved to the next table as you were left alone. What's wrong? you ask until a man sat in front of you. Your mouth open hung when you saw your husband carrying a tray of food that is also from the hospital cafeteria. Why are you here, Mr. Jun? I know it's hard for you to come to my office to have lunch with me, so I decided to go here myself. From now on, I will have lunch here together with my wife. And who told you that you can do that? Doc Maxine? Your eyes open wide and look at your friend, but she just shrugged her shoulder. That's part of his therapy, and at the same time, a day too. Wow, it's an honor, Doc Maxine, that you have given us the privilege to date here as you all left together. It didn't take long. Jinko successfully get rid of his fear of having a commitment with Doc Maxine's help and your support. You were busy with your laptop while sitting on the sofa, so you didn't hear what Jungle was saying until he took the laptop from your hand and laid it on your lap. Mm, why are you getting sweeter lately? Why, you don't like it? Mm, I don't like it because I actually love it. Thank you for being there on my side while I'm fighting for my fear. Cool. I should be the one to thank you 
because you persisted in fighting your fear. So thank you. Mm. By the way, can we go on vacation? Let's consider it as a honeymoon. Oh, come on. You are just planning something, right? Why am I want you to be the mother of my future children. I want to have a family with you. Can you allow that to happen? Of course. As you saw him giggling, he gets up as he kisses you aggressively like he really misses you. The end. Thank you for watching, Kuru. Good night.